Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this Wednesday, January 22nd. Hope everyone's doing well, ready to rock and roll this morning. Looks like we're having a little uh, little bit of a rally, a little up 70 points right now. Good to see you, Bonnie. Dave, Grant, good to see you. Phil, Chuck, everybody. All right. Good to see you, Cliff. By the way, uh, Michael C., Dieppley, I want to just uh, make a little shout out for him. I'd like to thank him for the nice little post he, he did for us on Facebook and on Google. Uh, writing us a really, really nice review, Mike. Mike, I really, really appreciate that. You know, um, there's uh, those reviews are very, very important to us for everyone, just to let you know. Uh, if you guys, if there's anything you guys can contribute, we don't ask for a lot, but if you can go to those websites, Google, Trustpilot, Facebook, just kind of post up a nice review about us. You know, there's a lot of people out there that don't really trust a lot of people out there and don't know if they're really – who, who is good and who's bad out there, but uh, there's only so much we could say. And our best uh, cheerleaders and our best fans and, the you know, and obviously making you very successful comes from people like you. So really appreciate that, Michael. Thanks a lot. Now, um, just a couple of things before we get started and go through some of the watch list and what we traded. Just want to just touch upon really quick. You guys did Traders Talk yesterday. Uh, today is a very big day. I'm, I am going to, um, going to be on Wealth 365 so uh, I will be on at 6 o'clock tonight. So guys, come out there and look forward to seeing you all out there for the Wealth365 uh, event. I know it's a, it's a week long, and it's like a big marathon, and obviously everybody can't be there for everything. But once again, uh, come out and enjoy and support it, and uh, look forward to seeing you guys there. And also, don't forget, Phase 2 starts today at 1030. Uh, so don't forget to miss class, and I'll be doing Phase 3 starting next week. Now, regarding about what's going on this morning and what happened, first of all, let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was one very interesting morning. There were a lot of good stocks that moved. I personally got myself in trouble in one trade. Uh, I'm just going to tell you a very, very unique situation. So I got into one of the positions that we traded and uh, the, uh, the VIVE. And what happened was uh, the stock is, uh, I, you know, listen, there are a lot of stocks that we trade that are moving, and I know Josh talked about this in Traders Talk, and he's going to be teaching you this in class. But you know, you always learn from your losers. And what happened to me yesterday? I bought a thousand shares of a stock of that stock, and planning that all, out of all of them, I thought that was going to be the best one that made its big move. And sure enough, you know, the stock didn't make that move, and um, it was one of the flat ones out of all of them that. That out of all the ones that we watched that went up. So unfortunately, I was in the wrong one. And for some reason, it tanked on me. So when you become a good trader, there's a time when you're in a stock where it tanks that there's only, and if you really feel confident in it, you have really have no choice, but sometimes you might average down, but only unless you're a level four, level five trader, you know how to do that. Well, I bought the stock back and what ended up happening, I had it defaulted. And uh, what happened was I ended up buying for 2,000 shares more. I had 4,000 shares of the stock. Now, listen, it's a big block order. It's not like every penny is $10. Now, every penny is $50. So if that thing dropped 10 cents, 20 cents, you know, 10 cents is, boom, it's $400 in the blink of an eye. You know what I mean? So anyway, I, I did take a loss on it because the stock started going down. And the one I where the price I averaged down, I actually broke even on that. Uh, because I thought I bought it at a good price. So just at, at the end of the day, I just want to tell you just what happened. Um, I ended up losing like 250 on that trade. And uh, thank God I got out of it because if I didn't, the stock would have been a $1,000 loss. So the thing is, one of the big things we always teach you here at Cybertree University, and I just want to leave you off with this, and then we're going to go through the watch list. It's okay to lose money, okay? As long as you know why you did it, you're not going to do it again. It's part of the game. You're going to lose. You can't even think you're getting every trade you go in is going to be a winning trade. That just doesn't happen. The goal is having more winning trades and losing trades. And most importantly, what you learn in class is how to control losses. So I know uh, when you're in class today, for all the students here, these are one of the biggest things we stress upon. Not talking about, hey, look at this great trade. Look at that great trade. Look at this. Listen, forget about dr drinking the Kool-Aid. It's all about you know, not getting dehydrated and, in, and dropping out and blowing up your account. That's the big thing. So that's the tip of the day I want to talk about. Now let's talk about what moved yesterday because we did have a couple of nice little stock. First of all, the NVAX, which I want to talk about. Um, you could see that that stock was really the real big one that did make its big move. But once again, NVAX, right out of the gate, 
you know, if you didn't get into pre-market where it went from six to 10, that was a killing. A lot of people made a lot of money on that. I want to give, make a couple of shout outs really quick because everybody early bird gets the worm. Um, first of all, let's give a shout out to Neil H. He made, he made 77 cents and he made another 96 cents. Tony made 20 cents. Bali made 43 cents. Ben made, um, 35 cents. Everyone did great on that trade. You know, once again, it's not about making a lot of money. It's about, you know, it's like, well, it went from six to 10. It's not about that. It's about making your day's pay. Thousand shares on 77 cents is $770. You do that every day. There's your $200,000 salary. So anyway, you guys did great on that. Give you a round of applause on that. Another one that we did uh, well too was f -Cell yesterday. And uh, this, is, this, 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 this is a classic. So look what happened to F cell, all right? So it went from 250 to 320, and then right in the middle of the, something happened around seven o'clock this morning. It just literally got decimated. So this is why you can't go broke taking profits, you know. And it's so funny. I'm, I'm hearing more and more people out there saying that. Um, you know, listen, I'm passing down the knowledge that I learned from my mentors. You can't go broke taking profits. And here you have an example why you can't get greedy and get cocky because you could lose it all in one trade. That thing is down literally over 30% from its high already. And, but, um, but you guys did well on it. I mean, everyone did well. Jason made 13 cents. Uh, my, uh, Mike made uh, 20 cents. Everyone did well on it. So those are really were the big winners. Personally, I don't think it was a great day yesterday. Um, there was this other stock that, I, that um, Uber. I want to bring that up. And, you know, we've been watching Uber for a while. And you could see that Uber's been just been on fire. The problem with Uber, okay, is that it's 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 got some nasty shakes. I mean, it really does. Don't think you can get away with Uber. And you know, and the best way to trade Uber is do not trade a lot of shares of that stock because you know, one minute you think you're doing well, next thing it will literally take it to the cleaners. So it's been a great swing trade. Um, you know, I was a big fan of, uh, of Uber, and um, I kept buying it. Sold it, buy it, sold it, bought it. I, I rode the thing down. I took very, very small losses. Did pretty well. Finally kind of hit the bottom here, you know, right around the, the 28, 29. I got it right around 29 right now. But um, i just a little upset. At, and, and remember, being a good day trader makes you a great swing trader, okay? Usually everyone does the opposite. So it's just being in the right place at the right time. You know what I mean? And uh, I knew eventually it was going to go up. The only thing that scared me which freaked me out was right here when the owner sold those shares, which really doesn't, still doesn't, you know, sit with me well. I, I don't understand what that's all about. All right, so let's talk about some of the stocks that are moving this morning. So we got this big one that's moving pretty big right now, the GNPX. Now, we know this one from yesterday. I forgot to mention this one too. A lot of you guys did great on this one yesterday. But, you know, I'm not a fan trading stocks under a dollar because then you start dealing with tenths of a penny. Once it broke the dollar move, you could see the thing ran, ran to $1.70. It came back down, which is normal. It didn't want to go past the dollar, but now it's starting to push back up. Now, listen, I, I guess you heard what's going on lately with all these pharmaceutical stocks. I just want to bring this up. Now, you know, um, one of our big issues that we have with the pharmaceutical stocks is that it is so hard, so hard for the, get, to them to get FDA approvals. And, you know, I guess with, uh, with, with all the new regulations that came out, they kind of eliminate a lot of that. I mean, we, we, we were able to now a lot of these companies that would sit and try to send these FDA approvals somehow, you know, they basically, you know, lately you could see they're really rushing them in now and they say, you know what, you don't got to wait 20 years now. Maybe you'd get it done in three, four years. Um, you know, whatever the bureaucracy, whatever it is. I mean, I, I, that, and that's another story in itself. But anyway, a lot of these companies are doing really well because of it. So listen, pharmaceutical stocks, guys, keep your eyes open. They're doing pretty well. So I know I know a lot of people hear these great stories about these pharmaceutical stocks and coming out with this, you know, the next uh, next best thing since sliced bread. Um, you know what? They're actually let's keep a close eye on them. But I want you to be very careful because some of them also become a short squeeze. Uh, I want to just bring up the NNVC because that one was a classic. So NNVC was our, another big winner we had yesterday. Um, and I forgot, like I said, I was looking down my list. I forgot to mention this one. So this one went from six all the way to 13. This is your classic short squeeze. This is your short squeeze right here. Look at this thing. Literally, it was at 375. The thing went to 13, okay, in one damn day. And then, and look at that. Boom, the thing comes down to 375. 
So um, we all know about short squeeze, guys. Greatest thing, fun. Always make sure you take a profit, though. All right, so we got that one. We got the uh, we got the G uh, the GNXP going on. We also got this one right here. That's you know it's a little cheapy. You know, and once again, you know, I think it's a I think it's a pharmaceutical stock too. Let me change the slide. Um, I got on a five minute chart. Don't like that. Okay, so we got to make it to a two minute chart. Gives you a little better perspective of seeing what it looks like. Anyway, popped up pretty nicely. Backed right off. You see, it's testing some resistance levels here. You know, once again, be very, very careful uh, dealing with some of these stocks. You know, some of these, you know, I, I don't know. I haven't done my homework yet on it, but just want to make sure it's not a penny stock, okay? And by the way, I, I wrote an article. If you go on my journals, uh, no, on my blogs, I know a lot of you guys are starting to read my blogs. I'm starting to write up a lot of new blogs. Uh, I did write, I'm going to be right. I wrote an article on what is a penny stock. You know, it's funny. I'm reading other people what they write about penny stocks. And it's like they're kind of just reading out of Investopedia. But, you know, I'm very familiar with penny stocks by trading them, you know, and seeing them all the time here and talk about them. But you'll see, just go to my blog, uh, blogs, uh, my blog page. And uh, let me just actually let me bring that up for you guys. You know, like I said, we, we just started aggressively posting them up there. Go on a short version of Cybertree University, CTU.co. And uh, right here, the blog page, right here, here's all the articles. You guys want to get a chance to read them. All right, I'm just put the link up there for you. So, uh, yeah, we got all these new articles that we're writing up. So, have fun reading them. A lot of fun. I know you guys, a lot of you guys watch my videos on YouTube, but, you know, I know some of you guys want to read some of the blogs. All right, so anyway, uh, we got that going on. What else we got? We got the CFRX that's moving this morning that I found. Little cheap little stock has been an also a very nice little swing trade. Once again, a little too expensive. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to change my mind on it. It's only up 7%, 140,000 shares. I thought it was a little better. I might put that on second protocol. I think I'm falling out of love of that. Falling out of love out of that one. Uh, MRNA, that one, I don't know what happened this one too. Another big runner up too. This thing took a nice little pop at 730 this morning. Came right back down from 24 to 22. It's got some support levels, big support levels at 22. I'm seeing big iceberg orders out there. That's another one I would keep an eye on it too because, once again, it did back off. Space, the final frontier. Here we go. Space doing a great moving. Stock took a big hit back in November. Thing has been up really, really strong every day. This stock has not only – I don't know if it's really – I haven't been watching that much. I don't know how much of a day trade it is so far, but I can tell you this. It's been a phenomenal uh, swing trade. So it's breaking all-time highs, everything that we're looking for. So that one, uh, another really nice stock, SPEC. OSS, another one that came up on my radar this morning. One Stop Systems. This thing is gapped up a little nicely right here. It's up at 330. It's testing some major resistance levels back in October. Nice move, nice volume, nice trend. Keep that. Trial, QRIL, we're all very familiar with this one, guys. Another pharmaceutical stock. This one gapped up a little bit, almost testing new highs, too. The stock was 50 cents, not even since November. It went to 350. I'm throwing trial back on our watch list. Now, another one I forgot to mention that we also did really well. We, you know, we trade so many stocks. There's so many you could trade. NEO. NEO, guys, looks like it's going to be breaking out of its all-time highs. Now, listen, everybody obviously here can't afford Tesla. You're not going to buy 1,000 shares of Tesla, 600, okay? That's $600,000, and please don't tell me, well, they could trade the options. Okay, well, you could trade the options if you knew what's going on with the stock, but you know what? Neo, we all know what happened to the China deal. We know what's going on. This is a, a copycat of Tesla, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, maybe for Tesla and everyone else, but it's an electric car company for China. It looks like they're finally, you know, with the new China deal, maybe something's going on there, but anyway, stock is um, moving up. The only issue that I do not like about NEO, it trades a lot of shares. There's so many outstanding shares. I'm talking, you know, 20, 50, 100,000 share lot orders. So that's the only bad thing that, that, that I don't like about NEO. So, but, um, but she is pretty damn strong, and, you know, that's what we're looking for. And we all know what happens when you break all-time highs. So anyway, um, you got there's your list. Now remember, not a lot of them are going to be moving. Some of them are, some of them won't. We, we always find new ones that pop up. So, cyber traders, when you see something, say something. Uh, and then before we go, just kind of re recap what we got going on. 
Don't forget, I'll be on Wealth 365 tonight at 6 o'clock, um, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to be able to read the blog articles that we're starting to post, please go out there, read them, take your time. If there's anything you guys uh, are interested that you want to learn something written about, feel free to send us a, an email. Let me know. I'd be happy to write about it. I know more and more people. Or if there's a video that you would like, think that would be popular, that you'd like to see a little sample video on YouTube, let us know. We're willing to do that too. Listen, the faster you guys learn, there's little, little tricks of the trade, the better you'll be, and that's what we want, and that's what we will, all we want. We guys want you to be the best that you can be and want to make Cyber Trade University you know, uh, the best school out there that it could be also. All right, guys, good luck today. Happy trading. And uh, if we don't see you in class, if we don't see you tonight, we'll see you in the trading room. Happy trading, everyone. Good luck. Be safe.